Um, I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, uh, the more I'm likely to be wearing this dress on its own, uh, like in the in the peak of summer. Um, and in that case, uh, I really don't want to or don't need to worry about covering a bra. Uh, what I like to do with my summer outfits uh, is uh, is to uh, have built-in cups, so I don't I don't need to mess uh, with bras. Uh, it's just it's more comfortable. I don't need a whole lot of support. I'm uh, lucky in in that respect. Uh, it's really uncomfortable in, <laughs> when it's hot. Um, so uh, I have a number of these, they're great, the little cups, and I have a number of outfits that have uh, lining and inserts where I can just put that in uh, and it gives a bit of structure and, and it cheats a little bit. Uh, so what I did is I, I got some old pajama pants, uh, just worn out, it's, it's flannel, it's fine because it's just for, for the cups you might think summertime as a lining fabric flannel <laughs> uh, but it's just for the cups uh, the good thing about it is it's soft uh, most of my outfits that do have an insert uh, for, for cups it's t-shirt fabric I did not have an old t-shirt handy so so that's what I'm using uh, so I went ahead and cut them to the exact same size as the cups uh, and I'm going to um, work those kind of like uh, pillowcases um, so I put them right, right side facing, um, just full disclosure, I'm, when I turn this around, actually it's going to be the wrong side of the pajamas that's going to show because I don't care for the pattern that much. It's not a very summer pattern. <laughs> so anyway, play with, uh, with your fabric which way you want to show it, but essentially they need to be right sides facing, um, right sides facing. And I am going to stitch. Um, I am going to stitch along the those sides, the bottom. Leave it raw uh, because that we're going to do something else with that. But stitch all along here, except uh, near the top. So near the top, I'm going to leave uh, probably uh, five centimeters, about two inches. Uh, open because you need to insert those um, they, they do roll up like cigars and <laughs> they go in um, so that's that's how that that works um, I did do some nut notches where there's a lot of curving if you're uh, if you know a little bit about sewing uh, you know to do that so that the corners can turn over neatly um, but that's the idea and and again I'm really not I don't know at this point where this is going to go, but that's, that's the next step. Um, I did the, uh, I worked the, the seams and I thought about it and what I ended up doing is to leave, so I only did uh, the sides, so I, I did uh, a stitch here and I stitched here and the top I left completely open and I folded the uh, lining over by, by uh, a good margin. I, and I, I stitched that. It's not the neatest of all works, um, but uh, that's that's what we've got. Uh, so I'm going to turn this over like a pillowcase. And uh, next, I'm going to press it um, to stabilize so that the the lining does not show in the front. Uh, and uh, when I'm stop stitching, I'm also going to hem um, the top. Of, of the cup. The cups are done. Um, one is a little better than the other one. Uh, so it's it's top stitched. Uh, I um, There was some little raw corner. I tucked them in and took advantage of the top stitching to make make the top more round and that way I have a neat finish. Uh, by the same token, I since I was at my machine, I worked a row of base stitching right along the bottom <laughs> see. Let's see right along the bottom uh, because right now those are not cups they're completely flat uh, I am not completely flat I take pride in that um, so uh, what we'll need to do is to use uh, we'll have to do some gathering at the bottom and that will create uh, that will create a cup I did a fitting uh, and so that allowed me to 
get to do some gathering uh, for each cup. So I kind of determined how much I had to, to gather right under the, the chest. Um, and then it also allowed me to decide how to place them. So they do get tilted a little bit. Uh, I left the, the bottom edge raw. I, I drew it straight, but obviously the human body doesn't have a single straight line on it. So uh, at the bottom it looks a little wonky, but the key is to make it so that it all fits nicely on, on the chest. Uh, and so I pinned the, the two cups together uh, the way that they fit on my body. Next, we want to make a sandwich. Uh, so you want to fetch the, the bands that we made for, for the waistline. Uh, so those are the two bands that we made uh, that go around the waist. And I'm going to do this. Hopefully it'll work. It's a little confusing for me because I'm making it so that uh, you at home watching this can see what it would look like for you. So you don't have, to, I'm looking at it upside down. You are looking at it right side up. So what I do, uh, what you want to do is to take your first piece and you, you lay it out um, with, uh, this, is, this is the top, this is the part that goes uh, right under the chest. And then this is uh, where the waist will go. So that's how you want it. So uh, essentially for you, uh, it's kind of upside down. You want, you want the part that goes on the waist away from you and then the part that goes right on the, right on the chest closer to you. Uh, and right side up, you put the fabric uh, right side up. And then take the chest piece and put it right on top of it. Um, so matching center to center. So I have a, a row of, of pins here helping me locate my center. So match center to center. And uh, don't try to rotate this to make the edges fit. Uh, you want to make, you want to lay down, match center to center. Um, but after that, uh, you want to lie down this so that it's, it like your chest piece lies down as it wants to lie down. So don't try to bend it. Uh, pull it uh, until, so that it's, it's uh, if you see that it's, um, when you touch this, if you if if it's um, like not like this because <laughs> you have too much showing, so you gotta get that to line up. Essentially, you don't want to see any of the waistband, so you gotta pull this um, low enough uh, or far enough towards you that you will hide all of the uh, waistband. And yes, it means that there's quite a bit extra here, but that's fine because we can we can trim that uh, away at the end. Uh, and then the last piece you bring in is the other half of the, the other, the double that we made for the waistband and put that one on top, uh, right side facing with the other one. So this one would be wrong side up. Um, so line it up and pin it in place. Uh, and, uh, then we'll, I'll pin it in place and unfold the whole thing and, and make really uh, certain that this is having the desired effect. Another thing that uh, I have to yet to decide, and this is the time that I'm going to decide, uh, after that it'll be too late, uh, interfacing. Do I, do I, is this going to work like this, or do I want to put a piece of interfacing right on the front? Uh, so we'll, we'll decide on that, but let me pin this. So starting in the center, lesson learned in the past, I've forgotten that. All right, so let's see what we've got. Uh, how does, does that look like once I unfold it? There you go. Oh my gosh, this is, so, this is magic. Um, yeah, this, uh, this will work. I can see here. No, it should be okay. Um, so let's see what this feels like. Uh, I'm mostly concerned about the, the waist band in the front is it does it have enough structure is is what i'm looking for um, i i 
think I'm going to go with interfacing, um, lightweight interfacing. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't want an armor. <laughs> the interfacing will go just in in the just just in the front, um, not not in the back. So just this this front piece here will have uh, interfacing, and that's why I saved. Uh, my fly killing ribbon. Uh, no, this was my original. This is what I used to cut the the waistband, uh, and it doesn't have any seam allowances, so I can use that part um, to. Uh, no, it's going to be. Well, I have to remeasure or look at it again, and then I can I can uh, cut the interfacing uh, using this pattern. I could draw. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, what are we drawing? It's a trapezoid that we're drawing, so it's not hard to do. Um, but I already measured everything out on my, on my pattern, on my draft, on my pattern paper. Um, so I just, uh, this is half the front. Uh, so along the, from the center to where I'm going to cut it, uh, I'm going to measure a quarter of my waistline. awfully small but it's right uh, no no seam allowances on the only interfacing So uh, there it is, and uh, now we need to uh, um, iron it, what's it called, glue, <laughs> glue it uh, to, the, uh, to the waistband. When working with interfacing, I recommend you read the instructions on the package. I, I sound like I just screwed up, but I, I didn't. I, I read the instructions on the package. Uh, so mine calls for uh, using a damp cloth and, and a high heat setting on my iron. The high heat is to ensure the glue takes, the damp cloth is to ensure we don't burn anything. Um, so uh, I left everything pinned, uh, it, it'll work that way, uh, and I'm putting the interfacing on the front side. So the it's got to go, it's got to go on, on the, uh, thinking about it, I don't think it really matters, but it's easier if I put it on, the, on that front side. Um, so we are ready to go. Um, so now I'm, I'm ready for the next step, which is to attach all of this together. Um, so essentially, um, you know, the way we had it pinned, we have this row of pins, uh, just stitch all of that. Um, and then I also, once I uh, stitch, once I've stitched all this row here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and trim any extra fabric that's sticking out from, from that seam. So here we go. Ah. 
the bud is, is shaping up. Uh, so some finishing touches. Uh, the, I still have my base uh, stitching here that I'm, I'm going to take out. Um, my row of, of base stitches. Uh, press it and uh, yeah, top stitch all all along uh, the 